I think that it's a very complicated matter these days. In the olden days, the doctor used to say, you need to have a PSA test. You got the PSA test, it was either normal or abnormal. Now we start a couple of steps back from that. The patient needs to be educated, what is a PSA? What is it going to indicate? And it's a terrible test for prostate cancer because it picks up so many things that are not prostate cancer. And it can miss cancer as well. So understanding, first of all, that the PSA is not a great test for prostate cancer is the first step in educating your patient. The patient deserves to understand not just the psychological and emotional components, but the data. And we have data to direct us. I think most people have heard about the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force grade D recommendation against PSA screening. Very controversial, but um, the, the, the task force didn't say that PSA screening wasn't beneficial. What they said is the, the disadvantages and the morbidity to the patient and the general population was greater and outweighed any potential benefits from PSA screening. The American Urological Association's updated guidelines, in contrast to in the past where we started, we recommended starting a PSA screening program at age 40, the guidelines now say that men between the ages of 55 and 69 should be targeted as potentially avail or, or potentially eligible for screening. So the way that you decide if these patients are, are good screening candidates is a discussion with the doctor and that wasn't in the guidelines before. The, the most important change to the guidelines is an educated decision between patient and provider and that is the most important aspect that we can emphasize is we don't just check it as a routine. We need to have a discussion with these men between 55 and 69, that's our target group, as to whether they want to be screened. And now the, the caveat to that is younger men doesn't mean they should not be tested with a PSA test. If they have a strong family history of prostate cancer, if they have some sort of symptoms or signs or any other evidence that makes us suspicious, that doesn't mean that we're prohibited from doing a PSA on these patients. It's just that those men between the ages of 55 and 69 are the ones that stand to benefit the most from PSA screening.